Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we've got a very, very, very important video. And I truly believe that if you do not implement the mindset shifts that I explain in this video, you truly will not be able to live life to the fullest. Okay, you will live life inside of your little shell. You will limit the amount of people that you will meet, opportunities that you will take, experiences that will come into your life. And overall, you will just make your life a lot worse than what it could be. All right. What I'm speaking about here is overcoming the fear of rejection and overcoming the fear of failure. This is something that I used to struggle with a lot when I was younger. When I was first growing up, actually, I was very confident. But throughout high school, I went through a stage where I started becoming a bit more self-conscious, thinking about what people thought of me. And overall, it's something that if I could go back in time and do, I would have a very different, I would have a very different outlook on life if I had the mindset that I have now back in high school and I think that my high school experience would be completely different to what it was okay so let's get right into it how do we overcome the fear of embarrassment and failure how do we truly get that confidence that we need to be able to do whatever we want you know speak to whoever we want take the opportunities that we want and do it effortlessly I'm sure we all have that friend that is a master at speaking to people he seems to never care what people think and he always seems to have the best time probably gets the most girls most opportunities come his way people like to be around him you know not only is it amazing for you but for other people as well it's an amazing trait to have if you are free and you are doing what you want you know people love that energy and they catch on to it all right so firstly we need to develop an abundance mindset if you have a scarcity mindset you will be anxious because you will think that every opportunity is the last opportunity that will ever come into your lap, you know, that will ever land on your plate. You will think that this plate of food is the last plate of food that you're ever going to eat, you know. You're going to be tiptoeing around that plate and not eating it, not going all in with it because you're scared that you're never going to have another meal again. You know, it's the exact same thing with opportunities, with speaking to people, with speaking to women. This is no, by no means a dating channel, but it's a very good example to use. We need to understand that with an abundance mindset, you have an infinite amount of chances to succeed. This game of life, we can continue to play until we die. We can fail, we can succeed, we can fail, we can try again, fail, try again, an infinite amount of times until we die. It's not a one and done thing. So if we have a scarcity mindset, it looks something like this. Oh no, this girl rejected me, I'm sad. I'm bad with women, I will never find a wife. That's scarcity. We thought that this was our only chance to speak to a woman. But if you have an abundance mindset, you realize that there's 3.5 other billion women in the world, all right? And then you start to think, okay, this girl rejected me, I'm here now, I now have more experience to speak to all of these other women and potentially find my wife, you know? If you have a scarcity mindset, you can also look something like this, you know, this business model failed, I'll never make money online, I cannot make money online, I'm gonna be broke, I'm gonna be poor forever. If you have an abundance mindset, you realize that, okay, this business model failed, I'm gonna think abundantly about this and know that there are so many more other opportunities coming my way, there's so many other business models out there, so I'm gonna take this experience and I'm gonna apply it to all of those until I find something that works. That's an abundance mindset. Next up, we need to realize that life is literally a video game. Okay, and I'm sure you've heard this quite a few times, but let me get into it. Take a look at this illustration here on the right. There's money, there's life, there's reputation, there's karma. We can add in health there. These are all aspects of life that we can level up in. Just like a video game where you can gain experience, you can gain XP points, experience points, you can level up in different aspects and level up in general, you can do the exact same thing with life. So theoretically, there's literally no difference between life and a video game. There are characters, there are quests, there are achievements, there are challenges. And like I mentioned in the past, if we fail, we can try again. You know, obviously if we die, it's an end game. But if we take a video game, if you die in the video game, you can always just play, press play again, restart the game and start again. It's the same thing in life unless we, you know, actually perish. <laughs> but yeah, that's a different story. So life is a video game and it is our responsibility to play it. No one is gonna play it for us. If you have the controller in your hand with a video game, Nothing is gonna happen in that game unless you start playing, and it's the same in life. So, another thing to note is that nobody sees the world through your eyes. I'm sure we've all seen this photo where there's two people looking at the exact same thing, they're just looking at it from different angles, and they're seeing completely different things. 
It's the same thing in life. Nobody is seeing life through my eyes right now. No one's even in this room with me. And I'm experiencing life as it is through my own eyes. No one will ever see life the exact same way as I see it. Everyone has different perspectives that affect the way that they see the world. And we don't even know if we see colors the same. You know, there's no way to prove that me seeing this bottle as maroon, you are seeing the same thing. You just know that what you're seeing, this color is named maroon, but I might be experiencing maroon completely differently to how you're experiencing it. So what does that mean? Because no one sees the world the same, because everyone's perspective is different, it literally makes the world that you experience your world. Nobody else is seeing your world right now and experiencing your world right now, okay? That literally makes you the main character in this world. It is your world and nobody else's, and it is up to you to craft your own story within this world. Another thing that's also very interesting to think about is that nobody can really prove to you that they are real. You know, obviously you can see people, you can touch people, but you can't really prove that that person is a real person. And I'm not saying a real person as in they have flesh, they have um, a heart that's beating and all of those things, you know. I do believe everyone's real, by the way, before you guys think I'm crazy. But it's just interesting that no one can prove that their consciousness is real, right? The only thing that you know for a fact is real is your mind. Everything else might be an illusion and it might be something that you're completely experiencing within your mind, okay? So, yeah, that kind of ties back into how life is a video game you know, with, with characters and things like that. Another thing to note is the spotlight effect. This is literally basic human psychology. Everybody thinks that the spotlight is on them. You walk through the mall, you walk through the gym, you think that everyone is looking at you. You think that everyone is noticing you. And what happens when we all think that everyone is looking at us? We're not looking at anyone because we're focusing on ourselves. Take this photo for example. This girl, this boy, they're shaking hands. The girl's thinking, oh my gosh, my hair's a mess. The boy's thinking, she's totally spotted the mark on my shirt. But because they're both thinking about their own insecurities, they're not even, they don't even have the mental capacity to worry about the other person. You know what I mean? So people aren't thinking about you, people are thinking about themselves. Nobody really cares about what anyone else does. Nobody really cares about what anyone else is doing. And if they do, they'll forget it in five seconds because they'll go back to thinking about themselves. So use that to give you some peace of mind that nobody really cares what you do anyway. So do whatever you want. This one's a bit deeper, but it's very true. And I've included a little piece from the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. So let me read it for you guys in this moment. <laughs> I don't know why that felt so formal. All right, but one day you and everyone that you love will die. And beyond a small group of people, for an extremely brief period of time, little of what you say or do will ever matter. This is the uncomfortable truth of life, and everything you think or do is but an elaborate avoidance of it. We are inconsequential cosmic dust, bumping and miling about on a tiny blue speck. We imagine our own importance, we invent our purpose, we are nothing. Quite deep, but very important to think about. When you think about how small we actually are, in the grand scheme of things and how small every little decision that we make is and every embarrassment that we experience, you realize that all of these things aren't really that important. What we are doing here doesn't really matter that much. You know, that doesn't mean that you must sit back and just do nothing. We're still here, we're still experiencing life. So by all means, live it to the fullest, but don't get stuck up on the little things. You know, think big, think about how big life is, how big the world is and how small your little problem is. That's just going to make you be able to shake it off so much more easier, all right? So nothing really matters. You embarrass yourself, who cares? Everyone will forget. Everyone will die. It's not going to go down in history. Think about the great leaders of the world. I'm sure there's only about a handful that you can actually think of. Out of the billions and billions of people that have lived in this world, you only know a few names that have, you know, gone and passed. If we think a couple hundred years ago, you know, like no one's going to remember you. No one's going to remember small things that you do. <laughs> People might remember your name, but there's no way in hell they're going to remember that time that you walked in and tripped and felt embarrassed. It's actually insane to think that people will. So it's such a micro moment in time when you embarrass yourself. And the only bad thing that can really come from it is you wasting your precious time on this earth feeling embarrassed. We only have one life. We can't be wasting our time, 
getting stuck up, feeling anxious. We have to do more. We have to speak to more people and we have to do what we want to do. I just want you to imagine for a second if you removed completely the fear of embarrassment from your life. Imagine you had no fear of embarrassment, no anxiety whatsoever. What would your life look like? Imagine you showed up every day and you did exactly what you wanted to do in every single moment. You spoke to whoever you wanted to speak to, you proposed every idea, you were completely honest with your family, with your friends about how you felt, and you lived in a present state. You were completely present because you weren't thinking about what happened five minutes ago. You weren't thinking about what people might think if you do a certain thing in five minutes. You are completely present and in the moment and doing what you want. Imagine what your life would look like. I'll tell you right now, it would be a fucking movie. Your life would be insane if you did everything that you wanted to do. And you had no fear. You had nothing holding you back. Your life would be crazy. You would have 10 times more experience, if not 100 times more experience with speaking to people. You would be so much more confident. You would experience so much more in this life of yours. So this is why you need to cut out fear of embarrassment and fear of failure from your life because it is literally taking away from your life. It's stopping you from experiencing new things, from potentially meeting new people, from potentially meeting your new wife because you're too scared to go up and talk to that girl. Stopping you from potentially building that million dollar business because you're too scared to propose an idea to a business partner. So do what you want. Even if you mess up, even if you fail, it means nothing. You have complete free will in this world. People are going to forget you. People are going to forget the little things that you do. And even if they don't forget, who cares? Who cares what some random Donny thinks? What some random person thinks about what you did? It's your life. Do things for you. Nobody else. Peace.